your boy Roy Jay Z. So we're back at again with another video. So for today's video, we're gonna be teaching you how to tune your carburetor. This is not I'm not getting in on how to jet the carburetor, or none of that. I'm just teaching you the basic of idle screw and air mixture screw. So for right now, I got a PWK Makuni. Carburetors are all basically the same. So I just want to try to know that. But yeah, man, let's get into today's video. Before we get any further in the video, I am not a professional carburetor guy i'm just this is just what i learned this is what i did with my bike to get the most power out of my bike so i wanted to let all you carburetor expert this is i'm not a professional this is just what i did to get my bike running a1 without a problem so yeah man, i just wanted to put that out there so let's get to the rest of the video all right so right here these are typical carburetors you will see on people bikes um this is a mcuni um, vm um 22 uh, millimeter carburetor this is a, a real um a McQueen carburetor. This is from like a dirt bike. You feel me? So yeah, this is most people not gonna run this one. They probably run this carburetor right here. This is a PWK28. This is way cheaper than the one I got on the table right here. But they are all the same. They might look different, but guess what? They're all the same type of thing. You feel me? So let me explain that a little bit more. Okay, so carburetors, they both got chokes. These are both choke levers. You feel me? So when you want to start your bike in the cold weather, you just pull a choke up and start it. Um, this is their idle screw. This is your arm um, to control how light the um, idle like off start once you start the bike up the idle You know what the idle is before you hit the throttle you feel me idle screw is right here on this carburetor So yeah, man, it's just location. This is air mixture screw on this carburetor right here It's at the front of the carburetor then on the Makuni Makuni sit like this on your dirt bike on, on your mini bike so this one is a little bit harder just because air mister screw is at the bottom of the carburetor. So I'm going to show you an example on this one. I'm going to tell you all Look, hold on. All right. Jetting. Look. Look. With carburetors, use your ears. Your ears is the key because you can hear if the bike is struggling to stay on and all that. So that's where the air mister screw come in. That's where the idle screw come in. And look. Car, your spark plug. You can tell by the spark plug if your bike is running too rich or lean. Running too rich is when a black, the spark plug turn black. Lean is when the spark plug is too white. It's like it got a little, little white coat. I'll put a picture on that or you can just Google it. What do a lean or too rich carburetor um, spark plug look like? But yeah, man, we're finna um, adjust this carburetor so I can show you an example of it and let's get to it. All right, so your bike should start off with a high idle once you start it from a cold start, then it did it drop down to a smooth idle after that, but I'm finna show you that right now. So what I did was, right now I turned the idle screw all the way out, so basically the bike is not going to idle by itself. So every time you get a brand new carburetor, the idle is not going to be set for your bike, so you got to turn this idle screw in. And this is your idle screw, so you want to turn this idle screw in, but right now I got it turned out, so I'm going to show you an example of that. I see how the bike didn't want to start so what you want to do is you want to just turn the idle screw in you don't want to turn it in too much because it can want to take off by itself but if you do just put, put it against the wall for safety reasons so see I got the idle screw in so let me set y'all back up and it watches it watch it start So you see how once I turned the idle screw in, the bike wanted to start. So this, that's just a key feature right there. The bike will not be idle for your bike, so you got to turn it in. So you want to turn to the right to turn it in. You want to turn it uh, to the left to turn down, down the idle. So then once you get the idle set, that's where you mess with the air mixture screw. So for my application of my carburetor, I got my air mixture screw all the way in. So I got it turned all the way to the right. So it depends on your bike, your setup, and all that, all of that. So I'm gonna still show y'all because look, you can tell when the bike is not getting enough gas. So that's when you want to turn it out to add more gas. So that's making it richer. Cause you can hear the bike struggling. You like, like you know how somebody who got asthma, you can hear that they not get enough air. So once they do the asthma, if that makes sense, you feel me? But yeah, man, I'm gonna show y'all an example of that. So let's get it. 
Alright, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna just throw my I, my air mixer screw off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it all the way out, and y'all gonna hear the difference in the bike. So I got it out, hella out. So I'm gonna show you an example, and we finna set y'all back up, and we finna start this bike up. Alrighty, so y'all see how the bike start, the idle starts like getting lower. That's when I turned the air mixer screw, air mixer screw in, so I linked it out. So I basically I turned it out too much, but you see how the bike just cut off when I turned the air mixer screw in. So that means I could turn the idle up to, I guess, combat that to beat the bike from cutting off. So yeah, man. So you see how it backfired and cut off? That means air, air, air mixer screw is not set right. So I got to turn it in a little bit more for my application. And what I'm going to do is probably turn the idle up a little bit more to combat the air mixer screw not getting enough gas. So yeah, man, you just got to test and tune. I know, look, I'm, look, I'm not a professional, so it's not going to be, I'm not, I can't explain it right but this hey i'm trying my best to like, you know explain it for y'all and all that so yeah man we finna let's set my bike back to how it was idling and tune and i'll be right back so i'm finna start the bike and y'all gonna hear how it got like a little ch -ch 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 chug to it so that mean it's not getting enough gas so that mean you want to reach it out you're gonna look you're gonna look just listen you're gonna hear the ch -ch 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 -ch, like it's how it was making a shh sh 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 sound it was making a shush sound because it's not getting enough, enough gas so what you want to do is you want to turn this screw out i hope y'all can see that the air that little bronze little screw at the bottom right here is chugging because it's not getting enough gas so it's basically suffocating this stuff a little bit so that's why you got to, have to stay on the gas but we finna you know combat that we finna turn this air mixture screw out you feel me So this is the final, hold on, let me get the light. That's the final product of what I did with the air mixer screw. I, you just gotta go back and forth until it's like a consistent little idle. Then you give it throttle, you feel me? Then that's how you um really kind of tune a bike. Look, I know I'm not a professional, but hey, y'all see my bike, y'all see my bike run. Y'all, you do what it do. No problem, idle by itself. I don't have to stay on the throttle or none of that. But yeah, man, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you got any other videos like that you want me to do, make sure you drop it in the comments. And thank y'all for tuning in.